The FedEx is here. Who? The FedEx. They just dropped off a package right here. It's here, here. Take the camera, take the camera. This is this is the paint. The paint is here. Damn, look at this. So nicely packaged. up you guys welcome back to the channel all you new subscribers i'm barbas today we're gonna be wet sanding the civic with some 600 and then stepping it up to the 800 um the civic has been sitting here for a few weeks so it is pretty dusty as you guys can see it's filthy we're gonna go ahead and wash it um there's also people have been touching it so there's like little particles or like looks like oil like somebody with greasy hands or something. It's also in the back over here. So we're definitely gonna have to wash it to make sure that we don't have any crazy reactions or anything once we lay paint. But I'm gonna go ahead, pull it out. If this gets ruined during the time that I'm washing it, then too bad. We'll just go back to the Dollar Tree, get some more paper and get some more tape and retape everything. It's not a big deal. But we do need to get this washed and then we're going to wet sand 800 and 600. I got the hood ready. I got the front bumper, the side skirts. And I have the fenders over here. So everything's pretty much almost ready. The only thing I have to do is that. And then we'll go ahead and prepare ourselves, clean up the garage and prepare ourselves to uh, lay paint. So I'm gonna throw you guys on a little time lapse and then we'll start painting. Check it out, you guys can see the difference from where I wet sanded to where I have not. So remember, whatever the wet sanding looks like, that's how your paint is gonna look once you lay the paint down. So I still gotta hit the side right here, but everything else is looking really good, really smooth. Everything's completely wet sanded and I went ahead and used some soap and I'm gonna go ahead and rinse it off and after that we'll be ready to back this car into the garage. I already got a table over there set up 
and I got this pretty much cleaned out and on that table I'm gonna be mixing paint and getting everything ready that I need right there I got the car in the garage I'm gonna go ahead and let this dry out for 24 hours um, tomorrow I'm gonna hit it with the mineral spirits and then a tack cloth and then we will be ready to lay some paint um, another thing is you guys see this rope that I have right here it goes all the way to the door the kids are not listening and they're just coming into the garage so I went ahead and I locked that door with that rope and the only way to get into this garage now is with the remote um, I did that because they they're just coming in here they're playing in here and they're gonna get either oil or something on here kind of how there was all those little oily fingers before so yeah tomorrow we'll continue this video all right so i'm out in the garage we got the whole car set up as you guys can see everything's nice and wet sanded and i went ahead and i retaped some areas and i laid some fresh paper right here from the dollar tree and with some tape i covered my engine bay and i have the rest of the other parts the hood the fender the bumper up in the corner i'm gonna go ahead and lay some plastic over them and protect them since we're not going to be painting those today you guys voted and the vote was in and we're painting the shell first so that's what we're going to get started with we have everything right here i'm going to go ahead and move it to the back of the garage and start mixing the paint i am making a review on this paint so all the information regarding this paint will be available to you guys if anybody wants to purchase any kind of paint from them or anything please hit the like button if you have not also if you're interested in seeing more civic content or other paint jobs please subscribe to the channel so i'm gonna go ahead take my compressor and blow everything out blow the shell blow everything out um and then i'm gonna go ahead and start wiping everything down with mineral spirits and let that dry up so i got everything wiped down completely with mineral spirits this side is already drying this was the last side that i did and you can see that it's starting to like uh, flash off right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start mixing the paint while this dries and set up the pattern on the gun. And then we'll go ahead and start laying paint. I'm gonna go ahead and mix the paint and we are gonna be following these instructions that are right here and these instructions call for an eight to one ratio which we see right here eight to one to one and the first number is going to be the paint the second number is going to be the reducer and the third number is going to be the hardener so i'm going to go ahead and crack this open and take a look in there So I went ahead and I poured it in here. Um, there is a lot of bubbles in there, so I'm gonna let this settle down for a little bit so those bubbles could pop and go away. And then I'll go ahead and start mixing the reducer and then add the hardener. While these bubbles settled down a little bit, I went ahead and I laid a bunch of water on the floor because I gotta protect the property because I do not own this property. Don't wanna lose my security deposit. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the reducer to this. Right there. And I'm going to go ahead and add the hardener.
And these fumes are very strong already. I'm gonna mix it up really good. Then I'm gonna take a filter, slap it over the gun. Slap it over the gun like this. And we will pour the paint in here. So we're gonna go ahead and do some patterns here. Set up uh, the pressure on the compressor to like maybe 30 around there maybe 28 not sure yet and then we will start laying paint on the car All right, you guys, so I laid two coats of paint and when I finished my second coat, I started feeling, I was wearing my respirator the whole time. I started feeling my throat a little bit uh, really dry and the back of my mouth really dry and then my tongue got really dry. So I walked out here and I started feeling 
like uh, like pain in my chest and for some reason the mask it looked like it was working but I must have sucked in some fumes somehow it's very important for you guys to wear the mask do not do this without a mask um, I went ahead and I dialed 911 and they came over here they checked me out I called poison control first and they told me to call 911 and then they came out they checked me out and they said that just to stay away from the paint for today and if I start feeling like vomiting or anything uh, to go and go either call them back or go to the hospital but I'm telling you I started feeling really sick really fast so it's very important for you guys to wear a mask do not paint without a mask um, I went ahead and it got me kind of pissed off that that had happened and I threw my mask away it's right there I threw the mask away because I'm not gonna risk my life who knows what could be wrong with that mask it could be defective or something so I'm just gonna wait I'm gonna have to wait to continue painting I did finish the second coat so I'm not gonna go in there anymore I'm gonna let whatever's in my system clear out and see if I gotta go to back to the emergency room or anything and if I gotta go in but either way I'm gonna go ahead wait a few days and I'll come back in here and continue recording or actually not a few days I'll wait till tomorrow and I'm gonna keep this garage door wide open and make sure that I could breathe that all these fumes get out today's the next day and take a look at this it looks very glossy it still needed another coat um, I delayed both of the coats I wanted to lay a third one and that coat was gonna be my really really heavy coat that I was gonna lay on there and unfortunately because of what happened I wasn't able to but it's very glossy um, there's a spot right here let me show you right here where you could tell that it needed a little bit more of paint you guys see that I might be able to like wet sand it wet sand my bumper but that's like the main spot right here and yeah everything else just looks like I might need to wet sand it it's not as clear as I wanted it to be again because of the fact that I did not lay a third coat that third coat was gonna be my really wet coat that was gonna go on there but we could still wet sand everything and we could achieve that that uh, mirror coat that I want we do have orange peel like on the doors but it's like really like like it's not the orange peel that I usually get with the rust-oleum this orange peel it's like it looks like it's gonna be a lot easier to sand I don't know if you guys can see this you see that texture right there so I think if I wet sand it that's all gonna be gone so it's not a big deal and like I said I really wish that I would have laid a third coat on this but unfortunately that incident happened with the respirator but either way I'm still satisfied the whole thing's painted already and we are ready to lay paint on the other stuff but first we're gonna have to get a respirator another thing that I forgot is the moldings I have to paint them black and put them on here I'm gonna try to match the moldings and the teardrop for the hood and the front grill to be black please don't forget to hit the like button make sure you guys hit the button and if you're not subscribed to the channel please subscribe and i will catch you on the next one till then peace out stay safe catch you guys later oh that's fine